Knock on you want to see some show and tell today again? Real yes, quick. Let's finish up. It's been a very I got a quick, part show of and tell. quick show and tell. And then I have a surprise show and tell as well. I'm actually going to make Brockman feel good. This is one of my, again, I'm going into my Fox Sports. See this right here? This is the trophy presentation. Terry. Of Rule 36. That is the mic flag that's on that mic right there. Whoa. Wow. Was, and it says trophy presentation one ATK in black Sharpie that you can, of course, can't read. They didn't want to do it in silver. They didn't want to do it. And basically, yeah, you can barely see where – see it? Trophy hey, one ATK. Yeah, we see that. Oh, yeah, we see it. We see it. I see it. Yeah, this was Whoa. on that microphone. And the basically, the guy that's City Mike's style, who actually worked for ATK and owned it, gave me the mic. I said, I want the mic flag that Terry uses. I got to be honest with you. If, 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 you know, we knew Joe, Joe Horgan, we know him very well, the longtime VP of exhibits. Yeah. Pro football yeah. Of fame. The quarterback who's won the most Super Bowls ever, six, yeah. interviewed by a quarterback who previously, had the most tied with four yeah to start it out and possibly end it so there's 10 eventual super bowl trophies and maybe counting for bucks fans in that one conversation and that's the first one for brady yeah would wouldn't the hall of fame like maybe that's like, what i'm saying like, take it you know well, maybe? again uh, it's like this is one of my really cool things but i have something cooler from that this is of course being a u2 fan this would be a guitar pick that the Edge used in rehearsals for the halftime show. Now, what's sick about this is it says his name, mm -hmm. Edge, on the back side. It's U2. And I wrote this, and you can see how long ago the writing is kind of fading. It says Edge guitar pick Super Bowl 30, 36, New Orleans, 2002, and it's Take actually it out, of out, of Take it out of the bag, Mike. Take it out of the bag. Yeah. All right. So wow. Hang on. I I, I never touch this. It's like one of those things. Mike, you need to get Terry Bradshaw to sign that, Mike. Yeah, I, sh I actually could. I actually should. So yeah. So you see, U two. You can barely read like the U two, okay. and then on the back, it's got the edge. So now, did he flip it off the stage, or did, how did you get? No, 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 no. This was in rehearsals. I know. So how did you get? Oh, no, no, no. One of the guys, all my buddies that did it, Tom and all the guys that worked for ATK, the company does this sound for the halftime show, knew I was a YouTube nut. Wow. And he's like, I'm going to get you something as a, as a, and he got, he got me one of the rehearsals, which is cool. Now, this is also really cool. You see a picture of this. That is the confetti after Super Bowl 36. Do you have some of the confetti? All right. <laughs> Look at that. So, I have a it's whole. Going to be tough I, to top this. I know you said you wanted. Oh uh, no! I'm gonna <laughs> top it, and I'm gonna top it, and it's actually pretty cool. This Mike flag was from the first NFC Championship that Fox broadcast in, I believe it was in uh, Candlestick Park, like '94 or something. I'm gonna say it was either. You might have been '95 or '96. It was the '94 season, the '95 NFC Championship game. Yes. year, but for the, the 94 season, I was there in January of 95 as a member of KRCR TV. Yeah, Cowboys with 49ers. My, with my, yeah. my camera, and I was shooting the end of it. And I keep on, um, whenever you see, you know, Steve Young did a lap around Candlestick Park and he came right. underneath the goalposts. I was yep. right there and was shooting it. Um, and uh, I keep trying to pause that moment if i ever see it on tv just to see me <laughs> all my hair i was there and that's you're there thing you want to talk about amazing you know small well movie. rich that the, was the day that was the day literally they i didn't meet them but i was in the same stadium as dion and michael irvin yeah and now i you know i'm like they're on air and long time i, I consider them long time friends if you had told me that day hey guess what you're going to be the first host of nfl now, work i'd be like and you'd, you'd work yeah, with Dion oh, yeah. and Michael yeah, and you'd call yeah. Michael Irvin, Uncle Michael. Crazy. I'd be like, yeah. sign me up, man. All right, okay. what do you have, Brock? Brock? One more and this is it. Right. One more. Jesus, Mike. Brockman, this is going to make Brockman not feel good. This would be the Tyree catch game. All right, I don't care about that. Okay, what my is that? turn. I, that this turn. is Betty from the Tyree catch game. 
and it's signed. I got a, oh, I stop. Got a, now, there we go. Too much. I got a sleepy boy right here. That's I got Sarah a, right there? Oh, all right, yeah, just, Sarah's right there. She doesn't really want to be on hey, camera. Okay. Uh -oh. Hi, Sarah. Up, Sarah. <laughs> sorry, sorry that we've been zooming in on all this all week, so thank you. for. Say hi, buddy. Say hi to everybody hey, out there on know, Zoom. <laughs> hey, what's happening? Cage's debut. Uncaged. Cage's, Cage's Uncaged. Zoom debut. Uncaged. Uh -oh. Uncaged. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, man. Look at Brock. Rich, it's just amazing. Yeah. This is amazing, Rich. <laughs> Brockman with child. This is this could be the one of the greatest moments in my life. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There was a miracle on ice and then Brockman. This is I'm it. Crushing it. You know what, I'm, crushing I'm, it I'm, I'm you know with three crazy ass older kids um around here right now. I see this and I'm like oh, um a little Good bit job. jealous because I've always wanted to be cuddled by Brockman while I shit in his hands, you know? <laughs> by the way, I think he's going right now to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I saw that arch of the back. Do we smell you know? it? Do we just... Look out. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Back to mom. Back to mom. Ah. <laughs> I, mean, I know these things. Even Back to mom. <laughs> Jackpot. All right. Way I'm uh, not going. We're good. What a great way. To baptize the end of our Zoom week for a little My, boom boom. We have a Zoom and then a boom boom. Uh, that's hey now. Thing. Hey now. Fantastic. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Done. What a big, big finale. A big finale. Oh. Uh, thank you guys. Appreciate that. Thanks again to our friends Same at you, pal. Chicken, who have made this look so great. Honestly, we had no idea how this was going to work all week. And um, thank our guests, Kurt Warner on Monday and Bruce Arians and Booga. On Tuesday, Wednesday, Frank Caliendo and Joey Mulinaro still are making people laugh on all the views that we're seeing on Twitter and on our Instagram feed. And of course, on our YouTube page, youtube.com slash Rich Eisen Show, where you can also catch Trent Dilfer yesterday talking all about Tua and his thoughts on Brady and Trubisky and obviously Cam and so much more with Jameis. He was great on that yesterday and today, Jeff Garland, thanks to him and Zach Rosenfield for putting this whole thing together. Sean Mitchell for helping out and everybody else, uh, Don Bouya, coordinating producer, and you guys. Thank you. And You're thank welcome, you, Sarah. Yeah. And then also my wife, Susie, uh, while you heard all the craziness on the other side of my door. Um, <laughs> thanks to everybody out there. Yeah, have a great weekend, guys. Have we'll a great weekend, everybody. Week. Have a great, safe weekend, and we'll see you Monday.